After a series of delays and intense regulatory scrutiny, SpaceX is gearing up for a pivotal moment in space exploration history. We are now perhaps only hours away from witnessing the second test launch of the colossal Starship rocket. However, in a recent twist, SpaceX has announced a crucial last-minute change. Musk revealed on November 16th that the launch, originally scheduled for November 17th, has been postponed to November 18th. The reason? A grid fin actuator needs replacing. For those unfamiliar, grid fins are essential components resembling waffle irons on the super-heavy first stage of Starship, playing a vital role in steering the booster back to Earth. This delay shifts the spotlight to a new launch window opening on Saturday, November 18th, from SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas. The anticipation is palpable, and you can catch this historic event live on Twitter. Earlier this year, SpaceX faced a challenge during the first integrated test flight of its Starship vehicle and the Super Heavy booster. Shortly after a seemingly successful liftoff, an alarming situation unfolded. The spacecraft began an unexpected and uncontrollable tumble. This critical anomaly led to a decisive yet dramatic action, the intentional destruction of the vehicle over the Gulf of Mexico. This incident significantly amplified the complexities in SpaceX's dealings with the Federal Aviation Administration. The concerns raised were not just on the technological intricacies, but also on broader issues. The FAA responded with a stringent set of demands, they required SpaceX to implement a comprehensive array of 63 corrective actions. Responding to this challenge, SpaceX embarked on a journey of refinement and revision. The company dedicated months to meticulous work. Finally, the FAA gave its much-awaited nod of approval for the second Starship launch. The FAA stated, SpaceX met all safety, environmental, policy, and financial responsibility requirements. Starship represents SpaceX's vision for the future of deep space transportation, aiming to ferry both humans and cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and potentially beyond. The Starship system comprises two fully and rapidly reusable parts, the immense super-heavy first stage and the 165-foot-tall upper-stage spacecraft, aptly named Starship. Together, they form the largest and most powerful spacecraft ever constructed, towering nearly 400 feet when fully assembled. The upcoming Starship launch by SpaceX is gearing up to be a remarkable journey. Before the launch, the team will be running through their final checks, ensuring everything from the engines to the navigation systems is in tip-top shape. They'll also keep a close eye on the weather, as it needs to be just right for liftoff. As the countdown hits zero, the engines of the Super Heavy booster ignite, sending the Starship soaring into the sky. This moment is always breathtaking, as the power of the rocket is unleashed. A few minutes into the flight, the Super Heavy booster, having done its job, detaches from the upper stage, the Starship itself. The booster then begins its journey back to Earth, aiming for a controlled landing, which is a crucial aspect of SpaceX's vision for reusable rockets. Meanwhile, the Starship continues its ascent, aiming to reach a partial orbit around Earth. This part of the mission requires extreme precision, as the spacecraft has to be perfectly positioned for the next stages of its journey. Once the Starship reaches its highest point in orbit, it prepares for the re-entry phase. This is one of the most challenging parts of the journey, as the spacecraft has to withstand the intense heat and pressure of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Thanks to its advanced heat shield technology, the Starship is designed to handle these extreme conditions. After making it through the atmosphere, the Starship begins a controlled descent towards its splashdown point in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. This part of the mission involves carefully maneuvering the spacecraft, using its fins and other aerodynamic features to guide its path. The final act of this mission is the splashdown in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii, where the spacecraft gently touches down on the water's surface. The upcoming launch on November 18th aims to rectify past shortcomings and achieve the goals set for the previous April mission. If the launch proceeds as planned, a key highlight will be the Super Heavy booster, performing a controlled water landing in the Gulf of Mexico approximately seven minutes after liftoff. Adding to the anticipation of this event, Musk provided an update via a tweet explaining the reason for the launch's delay. He stated, 
We need to replace a grid fin actuator, so launch is postponed to Saturday. Musk is approaching the upcoming Starship launch with a mix of optimism and realism. He's openly stated that the chances of achieving orbital velocity in this test are about 50-50. This admission from Musk highlights just how complex and unpredictable developing new space technology can be. In the ever-evolving realm of space exploration, every test and launch is crucial, successful or not. Adding to the significance of this launch, NASA is closely watching the developments with keen interest. The success of SpaceX's Starship is particularly important for NASA's Artemis mission, which aims to return humans to the moon and establish a sustainable presence there. The Starship rocket has been selected by NASA to be part of the Artemis program, specifically to land astronauts on the moon surface. The Starship is designed to carry both crew and cargo, making it a versatile vehicle for a variety of missions, including lunar landings. Therefore, the upcoming Starship launch is not just a milestone for SpaceX, but also a significant event for NASA and its Artemis mission. On the flip side, SpaceX's steps haven't gone unnoticed by environmentalists, who've raised several concerns. The main worry is the impact these large-scale launches could have on the environment. The sheer power of the Starship's engines and the scale at which SpaceX operates could potentially affect local wildlife, marine habitats, and the overall environmental footprint of these space missions. These concerns reflect the growing need to balance ambitious space exploration with the responsibility to protect our planet's ecosystems. This scrutiny by environmental groups has sparked a debate. Some argue that these concerns are slowing down the progress of space exploration, a sentiment shared by a section of the public and space enthusiasts. Musk, also known for his straightforward approach, has taken to Twitter a few times to express his frustration over these criticisms. He argues that while environmental protection is important, it should not impede technological progress, especially when it comes to space exploration. This gains another layer of complexity when considering the global context of space exploration, particularly the advancements being made by countries like China. With China making aggressive strides in the space industry, Musk and others in the space sector argue for the importance of keeping this industry as free from political influences as possible. This test launch is more than just a demonstration of SpaceX's engineering prowess. It's a critical step in the journey towards interplanetary travel and the future of human space exploration. So, mark your calendars and prepare to witness a monumental event in the annals of space history. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.